past Saturday. Yeah, and I didn't want to take him out. You know, when, uh, when we took him out is when they went back on a run because we had so many, we had two or three breakdowns that led to three pointers that they weren't getting those shots when he was on the floor. Um, um, but, you know, Reggie, Reggie is one of the ones that was really sick. You know, certain certain guys that if it's going to be a hard practice, they, they'll look for, um, you know, they'll, they'll act like there's some kind of, uh, you know, a Bentley or something that i got to go take my car in to get it checked. Um, Reggie's always there. You know, Reggie's not the most gifted. You know, he's not the tallest, not the fastest, but he's uh, he has the one ability that, that I love, and that's dependability. He's dependable. Um, you know, he's played in games on the biggest stage. He started on a Final Four team. He came off the bench on a lead eight team, and now here he is on this team. So he's been here three years. And, you know, look at the success his teams have had. Um, but that's why I value guys like Reggie. He's, he's never going to show up on the stat sheet. He may not show up a whole lot on the other team's uh, scouting report because they usually focus on guys that, that, you know, score all the balls or whatever. Um, but, um, uh, I love Reggie Cheney. You know, he's, he's got an edge to him that I, that I, uh, admire. Um, and he's great with our young guys. You know, I can't tell you how many times, you know, if, if if the game's out of hand a little bit and Reggie hasn't gone back in, I'll go down and look at him. He says, Coach, let JBA play. He he needs the minutes. You know, how many guys do that? that that's Reggie. Um, you know, in practice today, when I walk in, Kellen usually has the five and fours that went in going through scout report stuff. You always see Reggie with JBA. So one day I got close enough to hear what they were saying. And, and um, um, Reggie was coaching him, you know, he's telling him about being proactive versus a duck in. You know, he said, you just know that they're going to, so be ready. You know, little things like that. And, and to me, I'm as proud of that stuff in our culture. <clears throat> and that's how JVA next year, the following year, we're going to have uh, Sed Lath and we're going to have uh, Jacob McFarlane. Um, JVA is going to be doing the same thing uh, to those guys. Because Bryson Gresham and Justin Gorham did it to Reggie. That's Cougar basketball. That's what our culture does. We, we, we reach down and help the guys behind. Um, and that's why I may, I may have started this culture. I may hold people accountable to it. But the reason it works is not because of me. It's because of the players. They believe in it and they help each other. 